summertime is coming and the sweet smell of smoke is filling the air. And to kick it off, 12 nationally acclaimed pitmasters and 12 backyard cooks are pairing up to bring you the greatest backyard cooking show in America. This is Barbecue Country. You ever done anything like this before? Negative. That's what I'm excited about. So not the cooking, but the eating part. The eating part, absolutely. Yeah. If you can't tell me, yeah, that's why I got some double cheeks right there. It's kind of new to me, but I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys are going to bring in. <laughs> no it's it's going to be fun. I'm with you. I'm ready to eat some good Wagyu beef, Ain't man. Ain't no doubt. Hey, y'all. What's, What's up? We're in barbecue country now. Ain't no doubt. Well, I want you to meet a couple of barbecue champions. Miss Leslie Scott with Yubon's yeah. Barbecue. Hi, John Kuhn, House of Q, yeah. world champion. Guys, I want you to meet Mark Lambert. Seven-time world champion, founder, creator, Sweet Swine of Mine, Nashville recording artist, Peyton Aldridge, and singer-songwriter of American Backyard. That's right, baby. Nice to meet y'all. We're going to have a good time today. Absolutely. Gonna have a good time. I'm so ready. We've got a couple of really good proteins for y'all to cook with, some Hassle Cattle Company Wagyu beef. Awesome. And some Wagyu hot dogs. Wagyu hot dogs. To go with yeah. your sides. I can't wait to see what you brought for the sides, but I'm sure it'll go well. But they've got patties and he's got bulk meat, and you can do whatever you want with this stuff. And those two folks out there are here to cook with you. They're excited to see you. They want to see what you guys brought, and Absolutely. we're excited to see what you guys put together. It's going to be a, going to be a lot of fun. Me and Peyton ready to eat some good food. There you go. Down. We're ready to make some good food. <laughs> Well, cool. So when we go outside, we'll introduce you guys and you guys can get started. But when you come in, you've got about an hour, up to two. The closer together you guys bring it in, the better because it needs to be hot. We're all going to sit down family style and try it together. Everybody gets to judge everybody's food. And so we're not going to do it behind the scenes. You know, I'll be watching right. the camera. You're going to get to see really the real reaction from the person that cooked it and the person that helped them and, uh, and me and Peyton and everybody are gonna talk about good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> so, good or bad, right? <laughs> good or bad, hopefully it's good. That's right. So when we come back in here and everybody sits down at this table, we're here to find out who America's best backyard cook is. We're ready. I'm ready, let's go. Absolutely, let's get to cooking. Well, this is gonna be exciting today. You're in barbecue country. Y'all ready to go find out who's gonna win the challenge? Yeah. Let's go. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Can't wait. Hey y'all, this is barbecue country. <laughs> Let's get it on. Yeah. What's up guys? Hey, good morning. All right. Good morning. Good to see you guys. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. We got some special people. Mr. Mark Lambert, seven time world champion. Mm, Founder, nice. owner, sweet swine of mine, oh, Peyton yeah. Aldridge, Nashville yeah. songwriter, singer, and a privilege to know he's our theme song, American Backyard. Nice. nice. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. I love it. It's a great song. It's fate, man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but it's cold it's cool. out here today, and I want you to introduce you guys to some friends of mine. Yeah. We're competition barbecue people, barbecue family. Leslie Roark Scott. Yeah. Hi, Leslie. And John Kuhn. <laughs> They're going to give you guys a hand out here today. So right. we're going to have a little fun. It's cold, but I can't wait to see how you heat things up with our Hassle Cattle Wagyu Burger mm. and Hassle Cattle Hot Dogs today. You guys can do anything you want with that. That's the cool thing. Competition Barbecue, you got to build inside the box and color inside the lines. And here today, you guys can color as far outside as you want. We're excited to see what you come up with with the protein, and we're excited to see what sides you put with it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So what I want you to know, though, is you got lots of great equipment, okay? Lots of good stuff up here on the pantry. Everything in this set is for you to use at your disposal. Nice. Use your time and all this stuff wisely and to your advantage. All right? So... You guys get ready. Hope you have fun. Best of luck. <laughs> All right. All right. Good. Let's go. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, Leslie, you're cooking with Sherry. <laughs> oh, there you go. John, you and Marcus. Yeah. All right. Make some magic. You got it. You got it. Let's do it, brother. The legend, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know about the legend. Now remember, you've got one hour at least, up to two hours, yeah. to come up with whatever you want. Okay. 
I'm looking forward to seeing who is going to be the best backyard cook in America. Good luck. All right. Get after it, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Remember, use everything here to your advantage. Awesome. Oh, a book. I'm so happy. Can I tell you what I want yeah, to do? Absolutely. So I wanted to try to make some bacon candy. Mm -hmm. So I have a real good mix that I was going to make, some jalapeno bacon candy. I was going to put the bacon, let it start going. Hey, my name is Marcus. I'm from District Heights, Maryland, and I'm in barbecue country. Let's talk about our pig candy. Okay, so pig candy. How, how are you going to candy it? So I have some Worcestershire I was going to put in there. I have okay. some jalapenos I was going to dice up. Let okay. the seeds and everything, let it sit in that sauce for a minute. Now, do you cook it direct on the grill or you got a rack? Uh, so I was going to put it directly on the grill. Think about your beef renderings, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine the beef bacon as uh, something to accentuate mm -hmm. the meat. So today I've just learned that I'm paired with the great John Coon, the tall, like, here, and I'm here, John Coon. So if we do a pan with a rack on it and save those drippings while you're in there, oh, yes. then you got those drippings and renderings oh, okay. to use too. So, I'm John Coon with the House of Q from Tampa, Florida. We come here today ready to compete, ready to get our game on. For my hot dog okay. that worked with me, okay. um, it's very good. Yeah. So I have this cream cheese and cheddar, so almost like a stuffed jalapeno, right? Yeah. So I, I mix that up, put a little bit of a seasoning that I have here in that, give it some flavor. Okay. Um, I take some jalapenos. I'm going to core those jalapenos out, okay. and I'm going to put the cheese in there, stuff okay. the dog in there, yeah. and then when I make that pig candy up, I'm yeah. going to wrap that whole hot dog in the pig around candy it. around the dog, and I'm going to sit that off to the side, and I'm just going to let that dog cook. We're excited about barbecue country. I've uh, actually been able to participate in contests all over the United States. Been on a few TV shows and, uh, you know, just had a great time competing, doing the one thing that we love and that's cooking. The bacon candy gives it a, another flavor. You can't let your pig candy get too far because uh, right. it'll turn to brittle. Yes. So you're going to have to wrap that yes. during the process. Yes, I just wanted to do something that I thought would kind of step outside the box yeah. and maybe just show my creativity. I'm intimidated a little bit. I mean, this guy is only on TV every time you turn on barbecue. So me being paired with him, I think I'm in good shape. Creativity man is going to run wild here. You really get to see a little artistry with how they put this together. Hi, my name's Sherry Coiney. I'm from Pikeville, Tennessee. My favorite thing to cook on my smoker is a good tri-tip. So I'm just gonna do a, a feta burger with um, creamy spinach artichoke um, on it. That sounds incredible. Okay, and then for the hot dog, I was gonna do a rendition of an Asian fusion, kind of a banh mi sandwich. Nice. They paired me up with Leslie O'Rourke Scott, and I was very excited when I got to see her. What about side dish? What were you thinking oh, there? the side dish, the most important thing. So I was gonna do a uh, street corn. Okay. Hi, I'm Leslie Roark Scott. I'm the barbecue princess from Ubon's restaurant in Yazoo City, Mississippi. So the corn's gonna be layered in the mayo sauce, and then we're gonna put the cojita cheese on it with uh -huh. the bacon bits on it. Right. And then so they sprinkle are you it thinking with- thinking beef bacon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we can do beef Ooh, bacon. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've looked forward to meeting Leslie and we finally got to cook together and that was the greatest day. My side dish idea was a, or is a, an avocado jalapeno slaw. Oh yeah. Yeah, with lots of cilantro. Yes, and, we have um, cilantro here. Some, yeah, I brought some too, okay. so you and I, I'm oh, telling you, we're in the same, okay, yeah, of the same mind. I've been around the barbecue scene a long time. I won my first grand champion in 1992 and was the first female to win on the Memphis and May circuit. So I'm excited to be here in barbecue country. We could probably do the slaw and the corn, like like make it a corn and cabbage slaw. Okay. And then instead of having two sides, you've, you've kind of combined it. Let's merge both them. Of those. Yeah. Um, what do you think on that? What do you think? That would be awesome. I yeah, I like the fusion ideas. I'm a big fusion me too, person. Me too. Hassle Cattle is the sponsor for the protein today. And Hassle Cattle Company, they're a Wagyu farmer and processor, and they're providing a bulk pack of hamburger meat and then some hamburger patties so they can use it however they want it. And then they make these really cool Wagyu beef hot dogs in a natural casing. They leave it on a light of fire good. So what we want to do, we want to try that to start it mm -hmm. and then to let it feed into that as we go. We're oh, not gonna, oh, okay. We don't want your fire to run out. Yeah, yeah. So let me just get this thing lit. 
A pellet cooker, it manages air in and air out for you. These charcoal grills, you have to manage how much air comes in and how much air goes out to manage your temperature. I'm telling you, those Yoder flat top grills are among the best charcoal grills that there are in the whole world. Might need to season them grills. We got any cooking spray by any chance or oil? I we can put oh, oil we have on have some bacon fat. Yep, there you go. I'm surprised that they hadn't started prepping anything, like cutting anything up or prepping anything. Spray a little of that on there, get those ready to go. Oops. This guy's not spraying out. It's not aerosol. Is this? I thought it was supposed it should to be. be. It's probably froze. It's coming. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me check the other one out. That's it. That's OK. Hey, show you how to do that, too. You ever use that stuff before? I have, but I thought it came out like a, like an aerosol. It's coming out in a stream. When you heat it up, it will. Oh, is that right? It coagulates faster than regular than oh, oil. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So put it so over there on, on that on that yoder, on that smoker, and warm it up. I'm just wiping on there with a rag. And then it's on there. There you go. Know. See there? Yeah. Got you good to go. Got these brand new beautiful cookers. Man, this is great. Get ready to cook on them, right? Pellet cookers, man, have revolutionized backyard cooking. It just gave people the opportunity to step into a new world. So in terms of time, I know mm -hmm. my burger's not going to take long. Right. Should I start working on, you think? I would start working on your side right now. Yes. And I would start working immediately on that pig candy. OK, right. So that's what I was going to start with. We want to do that candy candy. bacon right now and get the most time for it. Please tell me they got that. Yes. No, that was a trick. All I saw was a magic trick happening Please over there. Please tell me they got that. Did you see what she was doing? Showed her how to open a charcoal bag the right way. There's so many different aspects to manage on the fire, where you get your wood and how dry it is. This Royal Oak product, when it comes in, it's perfect. Let's burn stuff up. It's ready to go. There's no guesswork. Stand back, people. License to use that thing over there. <laughs> Leslie's looking a little green. <laughs> you feeling okay? <laughs> so far, so good. We got smoke. We do got smoke. That's good. There it goes. We got fire. Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets. The only 100% charcoal pellet in the market that delivers the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Charcoal pellets produce better flavor, higher heat, and are even water resistant so they won't clog your grill unlike ordinary wood pellets. Plus, 100% charcoal pellets are safe to use in all pellet grills. Unleash your inner pitmaster and make the switch today from the ordinary to the extraordinary with Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets. already. Sweet. <laughs> yes. That's the idea. So tell them what you're going to cook. A non-traditional hot dog. We're going to do a banh mi style uh, Vietnamese sandwich. That's what um, I'm about. Kind of doing the, the pate kind of style look. <laughs> and then we're going to do a feta spinach artichoke hamburger on a brioche bun. Different wow. flavors of America. Y'all yeah. got me all lathered up. Oh, <laughs> nice. That one. Nice. <laughs> This feels good. I, I feel like uh, I'm in good hands right now, man. <laughs> good, you're good. How about it, guys? Tell me what the plan is. We're going to cook it till it's done. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm glad. That's the plan. I'm glad. <laughs> so the burgers are going to be on a bun tradition? Yeah, okay. correct. Yeah, so we're going to do some bacon jam, some bourbon bacon jam. I'm um, going to do some pimento cheese. <laughs> pimento cheese, baby. Yeah. Oh, Have you worked with beef bacon before? Oh, yeah, I worked with beef bacon awesome. before. Yeah, I love beef bacon. Now, this bacon looks great. But what I'm going to do, this is just going to give it some flavor, right? So I'm going to just let this kind of soak up some of that jalapeno flavor, and then I'm going to go in with my rub, and then we'll be in good shape from there. Now, I am a total thermometer suicider. I'm very irresponsible. I just want you to know that right <laughs> <Okay>. now. <laughs> just be ready. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> I just love that julienner. Yeah, that's really cool. I think I julienne my glove a little bit. Oh, this yoder is nice, man. Just dial it up. I'm all about the red, white, and blue on that cooker now. I gotta tell you, I got a little cooker envy going right now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start getting that bacon ready. This is the best thing in the whole world for making tacos on. This thing is so cool. You can grill a steak right here. You can keep your, your ingredients yeah. over here. You can sear your burgers. You can make tacos. We've done all kinds of cool stuff with it. You'll have to show us. What else is going in here? So I got the million dollar bacon spice here. Perfect. So we gotta just dunk the bacon in there. I need to take these little vegetables over to those chickens. Yeah, I give them the scraps. Have you worked with Wagyu a lot? I've worked with Wagyu briskets and hamburger, yes. 
I do like the flavor of those. And the fat on the Wagyu brisket, I mean, it's incredible. It's like a softer. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So whose side are y'all using over here? I forgot to ask that part. We both thought about the same thing. We're just going to kind of really? doll it up a little Come bit. Come on. That is so funny because we didn't We cook some french fries. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. We're thinking burger and hot dog. We need some french fries. Yeah. We're just going to kick it up to another level, right? Sounds like they're taking orders over there. I know, it does. We've been to like World Food Championships and all this different stuff to where there's so trained chefs this, right? that know how to use all these different this, ingredients, this, but the ones that win make the simplest dishes. Fire is just about ready back there. All right, I just need something to turn my bacon with. Can I offer you some advice? Yeah. Sure. Use long tongs, don't use short tongs. I no. deep fried two fingers last week trying to flip something. That's a good one to remember. Deep fried finger ain't no good. That doesn't even Nobody sound Nobody wants good. any of that. Bacon doesn't taste the same cooked inside as it does outside. It, yeah. I agree with it you. It smells better I outside. Agree. <laughs> Bacon's good anywhere. I need anywhere. Just to get up a little bit higher than that. It just smells better cooked outside. I don't get it. All right, we're just going to let it go. So it's going to take just a minute more yeah. on that than yeah. it will for like pork bacon. Yeah, yeah. So just let it get a okay. little bit more. All right, I'm just letting this butter go down. So you've been cooking alligators recently? No, so we did in Houston, we did two alligators and a whole hog. Oh, nice. We ended up having a good weekend. I pretended like I did stuff, but <laughs> that's the beauty of when you get to mentor status, you don't really have to do much. That's the idea. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm doing this much right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking you back home to your roots. Right? <laughs> At least the weather's holding up. It's a good day for it. Good day for victory. Yeah, I'll let you know what it feels like. <laughs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> she just called you out, buddy. Uh, Y'all got your ducks in a row? This is time for our surprise. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. What? That we told you earlier to make sure and use all your resources to your advantage and your time wisely. Yeah. And now is the time that these guys are going to have to run on their own steam. So you better write that recipe down. You can Mentors, do this. I'm gonna need y'all to exit this way. Oh. I need y'all to go back oh there to the giant God. party table. Oh. Mentors, if you see them getting in a bind, you've got one three minute save. All right. You guys gotta finish on your own. You got a little help if you need it. They're gonna be right back there. You know, if you guys know sign language, you're good. <laughs> Let's go guys, you're in barbecue country now. Mentors, I need y'all to exit back there to the party table. You got this. Three minutes, call me if you need me. Well, thanks man. Knock it out. Appreciate it. Yep, make me proud. John Coon, exit the pit, sir. Come on, John, come on, John. Am I supposed to come up here You're this supposed party to stand table? right here with me. All oh, right. And watch from a distance. Oh, that's so hard. Well, that was a twisted turn of events. Yes, it was. That's how they get you. Don't get too <laughs> twisted now. Tell me what the game plan is here. Uh, well, execution, right? Right, I think <laughs> What can they get done? Right, we've done the setup. Yeah. We've kind of helped with prep, and I feel like now's when it, yeah. the real stuff happens. Yeah, we're gonna see what they're made of now. John, where are you when I need you, man? Guy left me. The only thing that Marcus wasn't sure of is he had never made pimento cheese. We talked about putting pimento cheese on our burger. Oh, right, right. So that's going to be a little challenge That'll be for a him. little, yeah, yeah. The ingredients are right there, right? So right. if he's, you know, know that it would be one of the ingredients that we would add to it, I think he'll be fine. Or we could have just a cheese disaster, right? <laughs> 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 What's going to separate your dish? Well, I think we are kind of leaning on some sort of non-traditional barbecue flavors. Okay. We're not going in with even any kind of barbecue sauce. So it's gonna at least make us stand out a little. So in search for the best backyard cook in America, do you guys feel like you got contestants that will take it to the end? I absolutely do. I, I absolutely do. Too. do. I yes. agree. And I think both of them are great. How you doing, Sherry? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Hanging in there. She told me that she's gonna dominate. Is the trash talking coming out? She would never talk trash, would you? It is on the way. When you do full-blown competition, you know your timelines, what to do, how to do, what's yeah. your presentation, the whole nine yards. They've never been in right, this. Right, yeah. right, yeah. exactly. And a lot of people that go to events and see you, they don't understand how you do it. Right, yeah. right. Do you think you gave them something to take back with them? Was there a good mentorship? I think there was. I think we I had think, a good conversation um, too. I think if nothing else, we, we're able to offer some, kind of get the jitteries under control right. and that kind of thing. Kind of like having a yeah. big sister and a big brother walk in and say, hey, you're doing 
Right, right. It's good. It's I'm good. nervous for him. I think I'm nervous enough for him. I know. You had to get out of there, I, had, right? I, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to leave because I kept wanting to say something. Yeah. I, mean, I got to go. I, know. I almost did a bad mistake, man. And so it just goes to show when you're rushing, yep. you make mistakes. Yep. So I'm trying to use this uh, cream cheese. Yeah. And I just went and I was about to dump sour cream in here. Mm. Like, that would have been a catastrophe. Hey, Marcus. You have a three minute challenge as well, so either one of you can call it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Use it wisely. Okay. Hey, Sherry, if you need her, you can raise your hand. She's here. Okay, okay. Three minutes, it's all you get, one okay. time. I got them both right here watching, okay? I got my plan for her. Oh. You better not be hitting that sauce, Leslie. Oh, I'm here for you, doll. Well, you guys both know John Party. He's country music. Superstore. Absolutely, yeah. They're coming out with some new products, and we're excited to have it's them. Gorgeous. And absolutely, I'm really interested about this. This is a concoction that Leslie and I came up with, but the problem is she forgot to tell me her half of it. Oh. So now so, it's just improvising, right? I'm just improvising now. I had to now. put your power on that, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except for over there in the peanut gallery having a good time. <laughs> What's going on that you don't like so far? I don't like that there's no meat on the oh. grill. It's just got me nervous. Well, you see my pan, right? He hasn't put any meat on his either. I'm calling, I may be calling for backup. You calling for backup? I may be calling for backup. Maybe. I think you got this. Hey, Sherry, Marcus, your mentors back here are having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I know mine is. I hear them over there telling me, what are you doing with that candy bacon? Are you sure they gave you everything to take you to the very end? You know what? I want to cash in on my three minutes. <laughs> oh, is that it? Coming your way, three minutes starts right now. I got you, girl. Don't feel left out. You'll be coming. I'm ready. I'm ready. What we got? I got my hot dog going Ooh, in. He's already got him done. I got some. I got the large still going there. I put my man. It ain't going hard, going is it? Nope. Throw a little wood in there. We'll put some meat on. Okay. You getting out of? You running out of time? John, you ain't got much time left. I know. Marcus, yep. here's your press. Okay. See that? Yep. Perfect timing for that. You give them books and send them to school, and they still don't learn. You got your heat gloves on, yep. right? Yep, we got my heat. Oh yeah. Marcus, you need a sweat towel? Smashing it up. So Marcus, you gotta think. You want crusty, crunchy smash yeah. burger, right? Yep. You can put those onions back on here in a hurry. Okay. And get them heated back up. Yeah. How about pimento cheese? Uh, no, I don't have the pimento cheese. Okay, you got it down there. Give me some play-by-play -play here. What are you, what's John doing? I don't know, I can't look because my meat's still not on the grill over here. So I'm waiting for the signal. Okay, where did my notebook go? I'm worried about the jalapenos that they're not going to get done. Right, you got I 40 minutes? It, I'm it up. Yeah, okay, I cranked, I cranked that's what I'm saying, up. crank it up. Mm -hmm. All right, you got to get four of them. You I got, got four, four of them. I got four. Okay. Hey, yeah. another thing too, before you dump it back in there, yeah. put all that rendering down the bottom of that pan. But the one, okay. All right, yeah. gotcha. Get all, all right. that flavor out of there. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, these aren't going to take long either. I know I yeah. put a challenge right on top of you, but yeah. that's what you want. There What's our go. time on here? What are we doing here? Uh, easy. Are we <laughs> Easy. Don't we'll be talking about what time it is. Smile with you. Ah, ah. Come here, John. Nice those burgers. I can match. Come on, man. Right, proud. I got you. Yep, I got you. Thank you. Hey, Mark, are we looking like 20 minutes? Bite your tongue, Leslie. You're getting close to that 20 minute mark. You want that say? Ooh. You want it? Leslie's trying to start trouble over there. I thought I was your teammate. I gotta do it. She has no meat on yet. Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak Charcoal for the ultimate flavor experience. Royal Oak Charcoal gives your food the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Royal Oak making phenomenal products. I love that it's American. I love that flavor in the chart. The original red bag, that's the one brand that I've ran to. Unleash your inner pit master with Royal Oak and use the charcoal trusted by barbecue pros and backyard grillers. Visit RoyalOak.com for recipes from the best pit masters in barbecue and to find a retailer near you. Wait, she's there. fixing. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see if she's fixing. Go in. Ooh. Hit it hard. I can't see what I'm doing with all your smoke. We gotta save. We gotta save. Meat's gotta go on. Oh. <laughs> she couldn't stand it. I, I know. I did it as long as I could. Meat's gotta go on. We just talked about it. <laughs> 
your salad, and your salad. salad. Yes, I can do that real quick. Meat's gotta go on. <laughs> hey, Peyton, she was up here, had the whole stage shivering. Now, should I put it on this, or do you want me to yeah, put it on there? Yeah, let's do the grill grate. This is gonna require, I think, a little more management. Hello, John Party. We're pouring whiskey in the fire. We're, we're about to have a show like we've never had. Marcus, what is that? This is gonna be for some uh, baking candy. Marcus, you do realize alcohol and fire, right? Okay, so the meat will be on, got the bacon. Tried to give you a hint. Still didn't use the noteboard to finish. True. Lay out the map. And I guarantee you she won't either. No. Watch. We're not thinking about it. We don't do that. Don't we know, know what our steps are in a normal contest. They a don't. backyard cook. Here's a thought. Beef tallow well, the up there. Yes. If you grab some of that and put it on your corn, just like okay. like you would butter, okay, that's gonna change up that flavor big time. Okay, coming through. Oh, she gonna take over the pot now. That's <laughs> smoky over here. Smoky man, Marcus keeps on firing. This is ready. One, you two, got your mayo ready? Yes. You're fixing to. And then no cheese or che or doing cheese on it or no cheese. No cookie dough. Um, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, John. You got it. That was like five Thank minutes, you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told him. We're both guilty. Why? Wow, what I do? You didn't use the noteboard. I didn't. But I did use the tallow. <laughs> So, lay off, Rice. That's right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to get these fries done, man. So, does it all have to be hot when we serve it? Hey, it's up to you. So, do you. You like cold fries? Do we know hey, how much time we got? I minutes was up. You know what I'm excited about, though? Whatever your flavor profiles are, mm -hmm. you're going to get to taste each other's food today. Exactly. Right. Well, that's good and bad, Russ. I don't want to get spanked too bad by Leslie, you know what I mean? Well, I feel you the will same know. Way. Oh, we'll I'll know, know as soon as I taste it. It's inevitable. You will know and yeah. you can't hide you can't good hide. food. No, That's can't. right. They want to present just the best taste bite that we could. Tell me about the cookers. Yoder stepped up and they showed off. What do you oh, think about those cookers? Phenomenal. I absolutely love it. The heat all the way across the board is the same. There's no hot spot on right, left, whatever. Right, and that Yoder smoker, that's big enough to cook a whole hog in. Yeah. You could put a 40 pound hog in there with no trouble. Our great cookers though. Yeah. We needed just some little, you know, 55 gallon drums right. or whatever. And we got the kettle well, we got, to well, start right, with, right. right? We went straight to the you porch. Kinda get, you kind of get spoiled, like oh, right out the gate. No doubt. No that ain't doubt. cooking on the old freezer. For us to like, have smoker envy, it's a big deal, right? <laughs> it's a big right? deal, right? Well, if you look at the pantry, everything is up there. Sweet swine on mine. Yeah. Right. You've got oh, you John Moore and Billy grilling sauce. You got sure. Hassel cattle. You got all this. Yeah, Hassel yoder, all of them. All the things it takes to make a champion. Absolutely. Marcus Sherry. Yes. Y'all know how you're gonna finish? Number one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's confident. <laughs> I'll give her that. She threw that right on out there. All right, I would like to cash in on my three-minute challenge. What? Again? Three no. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. It's over. No, sorry. You're on your own. I, thought, I, I forgot I used it already. Don't worry. These two, I'm trying to keep them separated. They are I still not got it, Marcus. I got it. Getting along up here, okay? Keep my guy's anxiety down for me. It's almost yeah. gone to fisticuffs back here. So how many minutes uh, do we have left now if we want to use our three minutes? Uh, no, you've already done. used it. You're done. I thought you said we beat you at one. No, just oh, one. Oh, man. I know, I know. No, I we know. need two. Y'all yeah. can't even use the they chalkboard. Need... <laughs> Why do you need another You're challenge? so worried about the chalkboard, Ross. That was one of our surprises. <laughs> the ones that follow after, though, there right, is no talk about gonna, the chalkboard. Yeah, you're not going to, like, meet him at the door. Hey, look for yeah, the chalkboard. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, let's think. Oh, what are we doing? All right. All right. I think she's rock and rolling over here. What you think? I can see it all I coming think, together I, now. I, I, I do, too. <laughs> We're it's like riding down, the bike, you know? We're getting down to the wire. taking off. Now you're close to the finish line. Oop. I see some buns starting to come out. I got my buns out. Hey, Marcus, John's got something to say to you real quick. Okay. Marcus, how's your french fries? Uh, so I took them off for a quick minute because it was too smoky and the fire was going down. Okay. And I'm using that time to get this bacon candy uh, rendered out. Are they I mean, done? Uh, my, my jam rendered out. <laughs> and Are they I'm done? And put it back on. Are they done? What's that? The fries? No, no, they're not done. Put the fries back on the cooker. Okay. <laughs> Sherry, I think Miss Leslie has something for you. Sherry, we good? Is it three minutes again? No. <laughs> oh. Two ten. I didn't Two hear ten. that bell ringing. You're in barbecue country now. 
Oh, going to the chalkboard. Marcus, it is too late for the chalkboard, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you made Russ so happy. I was going to say, put the fries You're on. You're my man. That's $400 worth of chalk and chalkboard. I am glad you used it. That's the reason you wanted to use the chalkboard. I had to give it some love. Good deal. What do y'all think up front there, mm. Mark? I'm nervous as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Peyton? I'm getting excited because I know they're close to the finish line and I'm ready to eat. I am hungry back here. It smells really good. Yeah, well, I got buns on right now. And we're nowhere close to being ready. The time sure goes by fast. Need well, some Jeopardy music playing right now. It's coming down to the very end. Hey, uh, Sherry. Yes, sir. Your chicken's burning over here. Chicken? I ain't doing chicken. Oh, you sure? Hey, Wagyu chicken's a new thing. <laughs> Wagyu chicken. Is this fun or what? This is really fun. This is awesome. This is really fun. This is real. This is what the sport's supposed to be, right? They're still having yeah. fun. Right. My dog's looking good. Hey, guys, y'all getting close? Yeah. I'm getting yeah. hungry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Marcus didn't say Marcus, he was I don't close. hear you now. Oh, yeah. Don't say anything, oh, Marcus. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> he said he asked for four more hours. I think Marcus said hours? he was quitting. Oh, <laughs> no. He's not confident. Yeah, to I'm going to quit. <laughs> I'm getting ready to quit holding back. <laughs> quit holding back. I like that. Look at that, man. Look at that stack of buns. All right, Marcus, don't be messing with my buns. I think he ought to turn it in just like that when the meat in the middle of it. Be like about two foot tall, you know? <laughs> Woo! Say, you will know the minute you bite into each other's food what they missed. There's no question. Or what they did. Excellent. Right, right. You know. Y'all having heart attacks yet or what? It's just a little. They ain't far out. What's your thoughts? I'm not used to watching. I know, right? <laughs> right? I don't like it. You guys are having too much fun up there. Yeah, they are. On a scale of one or ten, how bad is Marcus freaking out right now? Twelve. Twelve, I think so, too. Mm, no. He's down to a nine and a half. He's coming. Yeah. He's coming where you think he is. He looks, is he putting that he's jalapeno angry. thing in a bun? Yeah. Okay. Are your ears burning? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Can we think of a song right now and let you go sing it to our pit masters down there? How about that? This is how we do it. <laughs> Y'all want to see what you're really working with? Give us a note. Well, I used to spend my nights out in a bar room. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. John Party's whiskey is the only thing I love. That's right. I know that name. Yeah. It is smooth. Hey, hey. Mm. It's Tennessee whiskey. She is sweet. You're talking about me. <laughs> Strawberry wine. Hey, hey, good hey, stuff. Hey, hey. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I never knew hamburgers and hot dogs could be so time consuming. I know, right? These are the backyard cooks of America right here. Sherry, you look like you got it under control. I got it done. Thank you, guys. Cool as a frozen Thanks cucumber. Thanks for writing on my chalkboard, Leslie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I know we're getting close. Mark, what do you think? Are they going to make it? I don't see any burgers. I see hot dogs. And I don't see a burger one. I'm real hungry, and these two have lost their appetite. So <laughs> it's just one of those things. You want some burgers? Look at their burgers. <laughs> she does have burgers. <laughs> Jerry, we're going to have a little toast to you guys. So. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, really, it's going to calm our nerves. You might need it when you start tasting Marcus's food. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you starting to play it up, Marcus. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to go. You better get ready. Wow. My girl's got the smack. Look here. We mentioned party whiskey, and look who shows up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's perked up. Hey. OK. Hey. Whew, done. Sherry, you sure you really want to do that? Like right now? You have some time before turning I'm in? I'm done. You sure? Yeah. You feel good. I feel good. 100%. I'm ready. You've done it before. It's in the barbecue god's hands now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You're going to be thinking about these extra minutes while they're judging your food. Let me know if you need me to door dash anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. So how was it mentoring these two? Was there resistance, or did you just kind of go with what you thought they did best? I feel like me and Sherry have been friends for a long time. Yeah. I would truly load her up and take her on the road with oh, me. Yeah. She's awesome. Marcus and I started talking, and right out of the gate, we were hey, Marcus. in yeah. position. Right? Kick it in another gear. I'm plating right now. Y'all are close enough. We're going to go inside when you guys are ready. OK. Bring it inside. Y'all get ready to come judge it with us. Y'all need to hurry up. Time's about up. Let's eat. 
It's about time. I'm hungry. Hey, guys. You go. Y'all hungry? Oh, oh are we so hungry? Look There's at that. Your main and then your side, me and Leslie collaborated on. Hey. Hello. Hi. You made ready it. To throw some food on? We made it. Let's dive in. <laughs> it's about that time. I don't know about you guys, but where I come from, we bless our food. Is that all right with you? Yes, yes. sir. Here he is. Y'all can't start without me. All right, let's do it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your son that died on the cross for us and your many blessings. And thank you for safe passage here. Please watch over and care for us. And bless this food and the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, guys, this is barbecue country. One of you guys are going to walk out of here a winner of this challenge. Nice. So let's enjoy. Hope we get the best of the best. Yes. Awesome. Get it. All right. Tell us who our guest is at the table today. This is Scott Reed. Scott Reed is the... Vice President of Marketing with Royal Oak Charcoal. Well, Scott, we hope your fuel flavored this food today, and we hope uh, these pit masters and backyard cooks really showed off. Look at that. That's got some good smoke on it. Sweet, savory, fatty. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> what are we doing next there? <laughs> A more savory burger. Gorgeous. I think I'm gonna add a little crunch to it with this slaw. It's got a little spice. Getting a bite of cilantro in it to me was a game changer. I wish I had a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It needs bite. You got the snap on the dog casing. So something as rich as Wagyu beef, the crunch carrots and stuff is yeah. just perfect with that. You get the richness of the Wagyu that comes through, but the freshness really helps flatten it out. I ain't never ate anything like that. <laughs> and that is killer. It cooked. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to. That's something I'd eat, I'd eat every day. Yeah, that's really good. That's great. Thank you, man. Awful good. Blew up in my hand. Yeah. So we got two sides left. Try okay. that potato. Oh. Now the taste of that fry is good. I yeah, wish we had the fried ones. I love street corn. We're gonna ask you guys to exit and we got a, a little well we want you to meet us at. You can wish in it, pray at it, or just stand around it. Give us a little bit and we'll meet you there. Thank you so much. Good luck. Nice warm fire. So, my granddad, Eubon's pit, when I was growing up, was a wishing well like that. Oh, it was no about way. this tall. Hey, hey. Kind of great across the top. Hey, guys. What's up, Marcus? Good, 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 good The hard part was over, but that's not true. <laughs> this is the hard part. This is the hard part. The waiting yeah. game now. Yeah, the waiting that's right. game. Yeah. That's right. The fire feels the fire. good. Oh, yeah, yeah, it smells good. good. I wish I'd have had some of that heat under my fries in there. I might have got, <laughs> got a little more crisp on those. Uh, hey, it's, it's the trials and endurance, right? Exactly. It makes you stronger. You got to be able to cook through those trials, right? That's right. Yeah. And next time, guess what? You gonna know how to yeah. get it there, That's right? right? That's right. Mm. You definitely pulled it off. There's no question about that. That was mm. amazing. Good <laughs> stuff. Like I heard, that was the first time you made pimento cheese. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've never made pimento cheese before. I had a little tip. I put some of the spicy pickles yeah, in there and give it a little it bit of crunch, a little yeah. bit of heat, and yeah. it, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, definitely. I was impressed. It was yummy. The beef was beautiful. Oh, man. Good? That wagyu wow. beef. beef? That bacon, yeah. the beef That's bacon amazing. was amazing. Yeah. You don't see bacon like that too often. No, no. really. Now the proteins were definitely out of this world. Way better than the, the regular stuff that I cook. Right, with. It right. just felt, oh, yeah. it was a completely different experience cooking with high quality proteins. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was great. Yeah, I was waiting for some more surprises though, but the one that took me by surprise was when the mentors had to yes. make their exit. Yes. Mm. That's oh, the biggest meat uh, competition challenge. Yeah. Yeah. It, was something. it was harder for Leslie and I than it was know. for y'all. It didn't sound tough. You sound like you guys were having a good uh, old time up there. No, I saw his no. face because when he said it's time to go, he was like, really? We were flipping around <laughs> everywhere. He was like, yeah, really? Yeah, I was no. staring at Leslie go? going, okay, what did she say? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Y'all warming up? 
Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. very cozy. Absolutely. I don't know. You guys got stone cold faces. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, is it that bad? Cold again. I'm stuffed. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> Still full. Yeah. Full of wagons. Full of wagons. Night and night. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel confident and I'm very happy with my cook. I yeah. think I, I feel super good. I saw her eating a lot of my burger and I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. She's well, eating it up. I love it. I couldn't be more proud. My man <laughs> did exactly what he needed to do. He got it done. We didn't get all the elements we wanted to do, but I thought it was great. Oh man, I am tickled. I loved our flavors, our textures. I, I'm just, I'm so proud. I, I, there's not a single thing that I would change. Well, Sherry, for me, I loved your hot dog. Thank you. You had me at Bomb Me. I'll tell you that right there. It's a That's funny right. sandwich. You had me at Bomb Me and pickled veggies and brioche bun and, of course, Wagyu hot dog. It's hard to go wrong. So. Yeah. For me, your hot dog was amazing, and what was one of the best things about it was its composition. How well it stayed together. You shut, you cut a cross section of it, and all the ingredients stayed in each bite. It didn't fall apart, and the flavors were there, and the balance of flavor and the texture, everything about it was perfect. That's awesome. Thank you for that. That's Marcus, great to me, man, that burger was absolutely incredible. That was my <laughs> first you. Wagyu burger, really, and yeah. I mean that was just a treat just to be able to do that and. Thank you. Everything you had on that little pimento cheese on there, man, that was fantastic. <laughs> so that's what, really what I love about you. your burger. Appreciate the balance was so there. Much. Everything was there. You balanced it well. Thank you. Now, Sherry, the, your burger, while I like those ingredients, I think the spinach artichoke mix overshadowed the burger a little bit. Okay. Maybe the quantity of it, while it was good, I probably like those ingredients separate, mm -hmm. but it was good, but I think it just overshadowed the burger a little bit. Right. Marcus, your hot dog as well. I think the flavor is absolutely incredible. Bacon on there and everything, but for me, is when I went to take a bite of it, stuff started falling out and I really yeah. couldn't get all of it together, so. For us, uh, the winner of today's challenge is Jerry. Oh, 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 I can't believe I won. I, this has been a dream come true. I've been waiting for this many, many years, and I can't believe this actually happened. I'm going on. Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak Lump Charcoal for the ultimate flavor experience. Royal Oak Lump Charcoal gives your food the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Since 1953, Royal Oak is the only brand proudly made in the USA from sustainably sourced natural hardwoods and nothing else. Don't be fooled by those imported brands made from irresponsibly chopping down whole trees. Unleash your inner pit master with Royal Oak and use the number one lump charcoal in America trusted by barbecue pros and backyard grillers. Leslie, congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. I'm super excited. I can't believe this is happening. You're moving on to the semifinals. Absolutely. One thing that you didn't understand about moving on to the semifinals, now you can talk to each other. Oh, oh good. good. You have <laughs> one year plan. away to plan. <laughs> now we can plan. <laughs> divide and conquer. What did you think about your cook? I was very nervous, but Leslie came in, saved the day, got me calmed down. We had a strategic game plan. We could have utilized the chalkboard a little oh, more, so we yeah, can definitely yeah. use that for our next game plan, but I'm excited to work with her and looking forward to doing some more fusion cooking and with her. I tell you what, it was awesome for me. The only time that I stressed out was worrying about getting the burgers on. Otherwise, there was little for me to do. I was gonna let you mentor me <laughs> next time because you were so smooth. It was beautiful. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Best of luck Thank going into the much. semifinals. Well, you did a beautiful Thank job. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> what an amazing cook today on Barbecue Country. We had some great food. What did you guys think? I thought it was a fantastic day. The food was fantastic. You know, cooking over Royal Oak, you got that smoke flavor, that clean smoke, which is so important to uh, the cook. Thank you to Yoder. And cooking on the Royal Oak made it a good day. You know, Scott, I was super impressed by the accessories that you and your company came to the table with. I mean, you just stepped it up. Well, I think one of the things that's really core to us is authenticity and, you know, making sure that we had everything that the backyard cook needs. And, you know, our lump is at the core of what we do and American made, been doing it since 1953, but we also have stepped it up with supersized briquettes, a bigger briquette, a better briquette. And we also launched our 100% charcoal pellet, the only 100% charcoal pellet on the market. 
and charcoal brings that authenticity back to barbecue. And so now whether you have a pellet grill or a charcoal grill, you can bring that right to your backyard. Yeah, we absolutely tasted it. What did you guys think about letting the contestants taste each other's food today? I think that's key. I think they get a better idea of where they stand, where they measure up, and you know, just gives it a good sense of barbecue family, and that's what it's all about. Absolutely, I think the exact same way he says, man. It's just, when you get to taste your competition, man, of course you're wondering, like, can I cook better than this person? Or he cook better than this person? But I think it's a great idea. We had two amazing backyard cooks, and I can truly say I think they're hooked on Royal Oak. You know, that's what we want to make sure that what the pros can do and what they use, you can bring it to your backyard and have the same success. And I think the tumbleweeds is a great example of that. It's, it's such a you know, simple product that guarantees every single time you want to light your charcoal that your charcoal will be lit. Peyton, American Backyard, was this a true example of that today? This is definitely a true example of American Backyard. Hey, we had a great cook here today in barbecue country. The next episode brings Mike Johnston and Tina Cannon here to mentor our next round of Backyard Cooks and they have the chance to win the title for America's Best Backyard Cook. We'll see you next time on Barbecue Country. Well guys, you did a great job. What do you think you did wrong? Honestly, I think I did really good, but I think I had a poor choice, me getting my buns toasted too soon and allowing them to kind of firm up. And when I played it, they just kind of crumbled on me. So I think I probably next time I'll still go with the same cook, but I'll just have a better vessel to hold up, you know, hold everything up. You turned in two side dishes and one of them didn't meet to par. Mm -hmm. It was the fries. So cooking on that 360 was definitely a challenge for me, right? Trying to keep the temperature up for that, that oil to, to stay hot. I think I'll be working on that for now on, making sure I hear John's voice. Effort not forever now, get the fries done. So. <laughs> well, listen, guys, you're not done. You're coming back for the finale oh, in the yeah. People's Choice <laughs> yeah. to redeem yourself. Oh, so awesome. you can communicate now, and we'll see you back okay. right here, Wilson County, Tennessee. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy that. Coming back. That's it. for cast and crew are provided by Holiday Inn Express and Suites in beautiful Lebanon, Tennessee.